The PlayStation Plus games for February 2018 have been confirmed by the PlayStation blog, a little different than what was originally leaked. That picture turned out to be false, but the games that were actually confirmed are pretty good. Not as good as maybe Dark Souls 2 and Far Cry 4, which was originally rumored, but for a lot of you guys, and I noticed in the comment section of that video, a lot of you said that you already own those games and you weren't interested in checking those out. Maybe these games might be up your alley more. We've got a game that was a PlayStation 4 launch title, although it wasn't received all too well. There's still some fun to be had with it. And we've got a very artistic title that a lot of you guys probably didn't check out. So let's cover the PlayStation Plus February 2018 offerings. First, we have the PlayStation 4 launch title in Knack. Knack was one of the highly anticipated games going into the PlayStation 4's launch. Many were even more excited for Knack than they were Killzone Shadowfall. However, Knack didn't turn out all too well. From a visual standpoint, it is great. It's got some great particle effects and the overall design is really strong. However, the game did falter from a gameplay standpoint, and the story was pretty bland and nothing to write home about. This didn't really become one of those iconic platforming series that I think Sony was hoping for with this title. It doesn't compete with your Jack and Daxters and Ratchet and Clanks of the world. However, it is still a decent title, and I'm happy to see it because, again, this is a PlayStation 4 launch title. If you picked up your PlayStation 4 the year or two years or three years after the launch of the console, Knack was a game you probably skipped out on entirely. There was a sequel released in Knack 2. And while that game was received a little bit better, it wasn't anything to write home about either. But it's nice to see Knack as a PlayStation Plus title. This is a game that I've wanted, offered for Plus subscribers for a little bit. So nice to see it on that end, especially because now in 2018, there probably aren't a lot of gamers picking up the first Knack. Also, probably the more enticing game is Rhyme. Rhyme is an adventure puzzle game developed by Tequila Works, and those are the guys that actually worked on Deadlight, as well as the Sexy Brutal. So they've worked on some pretty cool titles, but Rhyme is a very interesting interesting game. It was in development for a very long time. Originally, it was actually going to be a PlayStation 4 exclusive, but it was in development for so long that things went awry, but it finally released back in May of 2017, and it turned out to be a pretty good title. Originally, when the game was announced, it was being compared to titles from Team Eco and other games like Journey and The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Those are some incredible titles, and it's not at that level, but it's a very artistic game. It's got some pretty cool gameplay elements. Some will say the content's a little bit shallow and generic, Eric. However, from a design and presentation standpoint, this is a great game. And it was released at a relatively expensive price for a downloadable title, but now to get it as a part of your PlayStation Plus subscription, it is a great one that is being added. Also, there is another game that you might miss out on because it's a PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 4 crossplay title. Sony is really promoting Knack and Rhyme. However, you are also getting Grand Kingdom, a game that was published by NIS America, a very Japanese-centric game. It's a very good tactical RPG that that's gonna remind you of games such as Final Fantasy Tactics and other tactical JRPGs, and it's really good in its own right. It innovates enough while retaining those elements of those games that you love if you played them back in the day, and it was actually received very well. It has a 78 on Metacritic, which is relatively strong, and it's a great addition for Plus subscribers. Honestly, Sony should probably be promoting the fact that it's a part of PlayStation Plus a little bit more, but I get why they wanna center their focus around Knack and Rhyme. Those two games are probably a little bit more well-known, but if you're a fan of Japanese RPGs, great. Grand Kingdom is another pretty solid game. And also, if you are playing on PlayStation 3 or PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 3 subscribers will get Spelunker HD, Mugen Soul Z, another pretty interesting Japanese RPG. And over on the PlayStation Vita, Grand Kingdom is a cross-buy title, so it'll be available on there, and you'll get Exile's End. So overall, while it isn't the Dark Souls 2 and the Far Cry 4 that we were expecting, unfortunately, that leak turned out to be false. This is still a really strong month. And coming off the excellent January that we had, that's two back-to-back -back really good months, and hopefully Sony can keep the momentum rolling for the rest of the month in 2018. Yes, Knack isn't a fantastic game, but it's a game I think a lot of gamers have interest in. They just don't want to pay money for it, and I know you're paying for your Plus subscription, but you get the idea. Rhyme's a really solid game that I don't think a lot of gamers know about, and once you look at it, that's a very grabbing game, and that's because it has great presentation. And for you JRPG lovers, you also have Grand Kingdom, so overall, really solid month. I'm personally very happy with this, and I think a lot of PlayStation Plus subscribers will be very pleased. Honestly, you can make an argument that because you're getting Knack, you're getting Rhyme, and you're getting Grand Kingdom, that that's better than just getting Dark Souls 2 and Far Cry 4. That's not a debate that I want to get into right now, but pretty good month overall for February. We had a good month in January. Let's keep the momentum rolling into March. So let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Are you happy with this month? Are you disappointed that it wasn't the rumored titles? Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and Goodbye.